Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing awesome. Uh, a couple things here before we get started. If you're new to my channel, everything you need to know is in the description box. I have opened up personal readings again, so details are below on how to contact me. Uh, everything else you need to know, my playlists, um, you know, just some meditations and things like that are below in the description box, uh, the decks I use, etc. Okay, so I want to say thank you for your likes, your shares. Um, I also want to say uh, I am giving away one free personal reading each month. To enter, um, you just need to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, like and comment and you're entered. I will announce the winners uh, the first week of every month, okay? So with that, Gemini, let's get started here with your reading. What do we need to show Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? Okay. So interesting, Gemini. First two cards that came out is the Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. I kind of feel like there's a situation going on here, Gemini. Now, for some of you, you may be feeling like there's a whole not, lot not going on in your love life, maybe feeling disappointed. Uh, for others, I feel here there could be a specific person here, right? You may be, you maybe you're kind of um, pulling back your energy from this person you know not really feeling satisfied or content about the situation let's pull some more cards okay two of cups all right and the empress all right so i feel like there's definitely an energy here right that you're hoping for some sort of Something about to, you know, a birth of something here, two of cups. There's definitely a lot of love here. Some of you may be a single parent, uh, I'm going to say, or you may have a child with this person here. There's an energy here, too, of, of you know, I just feel like she's sitting there tired of waiting for something here, right? Or waiting uh, to connect with someone, whether there's somebody in your life or not. So let's see what else comes up for you, Gemini. Okay, Five of Swords. Conflicted energy there. Something needs to change. Knight of Swords. Okay, could be dealing with somebody here who is a bit of a runner. We'll see here. Ace of Swords. And the Six of Swords. Okay. Could be some travel distance between you and somebody here. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like you've got some communication upcoming here from somebody. I also get here the Ace of Swords. This person's very attracted to you, very passionate about you. It feels, though, that this is somebody who has had a hard time taking the next step. So some of you, this is around somebody you're already dealing with or somebody you have a connection with. And I feel like you're dealing with somebody who has kept things kind of casual, hasn't taken things to the next level, whether it was its um, commitment or marriage here, right? You also have the five of wands, okay? So it feels like an energy like you and this person have not been on the same page. Now, for others of you, you know, this just could be, right, you're tired uh, of waiting for the one to come in and maybe, you know, you've had some relationships that, you know, just didn't, haven't worked out for you, okay? But I see here conflict here. I see with the Knight of Swords, okay, you, I feel like a lot of you are dealing with somebody here who hasn't been real consistent. Uh, this could be somebody who can be very impulsive, Right, so they could come in very quickly, but they could leave just as quickly, right? They don't stick around. They're always on the go is the energy that I get there, okay? Um, you have the Two of Cups here with the Ace of Swords. I feel with this Eight of Wands too, there's, some, there's going to be some communication that is coming towards you here. You have the Six of Swords. So what I get here, whatever you're not feeling satisfied, you're feeling not content about, maybe feeling up in your head about, 
this person, you're going to get communication with this person. And I feel like there's an energy here of you and this person working out some sort of conflict here. Okay, it shows me here a new beginning. Now, for some of you, it may be here that you just decide, right, to move on from a situation. Okay, we're going to pull more cards. Others, it may be here, you're very clear what you want, right, when it comes to love and relationships. Some of you I get here are traveling. Some of you may, I'm just going to say, I get the energy too, Gemini. Some of you may be feeling like you need to move somewhere else to meet somebody in love is what I get. You know, almost like um, you feel like you're in the same type of pool of people or something like that is what I'm picking up. Let's see what else comes up for you, Gemini. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords. Yeah, this person, there's somebody here I feel it's very much so on your mind or you're just feeling stuck in general in your love life. And you have the Seven of Wands. Bottom of the deck, Two and of Pentacles, okay. Yeah, so I feel like you're weighing your options uh, when it comes to your love life here, all right? I feel that you're being very practical, very logical in your approach a around the situation, okay? I feel with this Five of Swords here, it's an energy of something needs to change, something needs to, you know, be done differently because I feel here... With this Ten of Pentacles, you're really looking for something, you know, stable and for the long term. <clears throat> now you have here the Ten of Swords, okay? The Four of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. I almost get the energy. It's almost like you just want to run, right? You, you're looking towards the future there, okay? You're looking towards the horizon. Again, with the Crows there, it's signifying change. Something needs to change, Right? For a new happy beginning here in your life. <clears throat> now, for some of you, like I said, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is quite inconsistent, impulsive. <clears throat> this is disappointing for you, okay? You may feel like this person you're dealing with is always on the go. Um, but for some of you, I feel here too, you may be feeling like you want to run from this situation. Two of Cups, Ace of Swords, right, and the Eight of Swords. And that's what I was saying. I feel like this is very heavy on your mind. Um, I feel like you're weighing your options here in the situation. But like I said, you have the Empress, Six of Swords, Seven of Wands, okay? Some of you may be taking a getaway here, right, to get... Um, to find your own, you know, um, your own inner balance here with the Seven of Wands, right? Finding your own peace within and overcoming, right, uh, the challenges here in this situation. Taking time to, to weigh your options here. Like I said, though, I do feel like there is some sort of, there is some communication coming in here from this person, <clears throat> But I feel there's an energy here of overcoming obstacles. There's some obstacles and challenges here that I feel you're dealing with. And I'm going to ask what those are. I'll ask what the challenge is, but let's first continue. What else can you um, <clears throat> tell Gemini? What's this conflict here uh, for Gemini? Magician, okay, making things happen, all right, getting to that Ten of Pentacles, I feel like that potentially here is an issue, okay, what's this new beginning here, this beautiful uh, new beginning here in the future, what can you show Gemini, what's coming up here in the future, King of Wands, all right, so you got a King of Wands energy coming towards you, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, What's on your mind, Gemini? What can't you get off your mind? High Priestess. Okay, so Spirit is telling you that um, <clears throat> you may not be listening to your intuition around this situation. So if you're dealing with a particular person, I'm going to say this King of Wands. This could be somebody who approaches relationships, you know, with a lot of ego, Right, um, they may think that they are the, I'm just going to say the shit, right? 
Um, some of you, this could be somebody new who, who is coming into your life, okay? Um, could be a fire sign, okay? But I feel like you're dealing with, this is someone that you're dealing with already. Maybe have a lot of ego, a lot of pride. Um, <clears throat> what's this new beginning, okay? What's this uh, smooth sailing, right? Finding balance, overcoming obstacles, Five of Cups, Nine of Cups. Okay, so going from dead being disappointed to being very happy here, all right? But Spirit is saying here you need to listen to your intuition about the situation. Give me one more card on the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here, please? I mean, I'm sorry. Let me say that again. King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here, please? Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is someone who acts out of ego. They're not completely honest, okay? I feel here. So somebody who avoids the truth, <clears throat> somebody who may be a bit sneaky, I'm going to say here, bottom of the deck, three of wands. Yeah, Gemini, I feel like you're looking at your options here, okay? I feel there's a, a good sense here that you are finding your own inner peace, Okay, your energy is showing up here as the Empress. Um, so I feel like if this is a situation that has got you down, uh, Spirit is showing me here that you're finding your own inner peace here and you're moving on from um, any conflict here. Okay, look at that. Ace of Wands. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who has kept things casual. They've never really taken things to the next level. What is the challenge here? Why isn't this person taking things to the next level? Okay, Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, okay, Double Card, all right, yeah. You're dealing with someone, I feel here, with the Double Card. Um, this is somebody here. Addictions could be a factor, I'm just going to say that. Either that or this is someone who just wants to keep things intimate and they detach emotionally because they haven't really clearly made a decision, right, of where they want things to go, okay? So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to say here, what's the potential here uh, for Gemini in this and this person here? What's the potential here? If Gemini does nothing, what's the potential here? Three of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Lovers. Okay. Some of you could be dealing, you know, I'm just going to say here with a third party. There is an opportunity for you and this person to reconnect, to work on things here. Okay, you do have the Eight of Cups here, all right? And you have the Lovers could be dealing with a Gemini, okay? There's definitely a strong enough connection between you and this person to reconnect. Let's ask here, why is the, oh, okay, what came out? Okay, Six of Wands. So there is potential here, I'm going to say with that, Six of Wands. Why is the Eight of Cups here, please? Nine of Swords. Queen of Swords, okay, Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to say, actually, Gemini, um, I do feel like you've deal you're dealing with somebody here who may not have been honest in the past, who may not have been uh, able to make things happen. But what I'm going to say here is I feel you have the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Swords, okay? I just get this energy, uh, Gemini, I don't know if you're going to be able to trust this person, um, and if this person is going to provide you stability here for the long term, because it does also feel here that this could be somebody that definitely broke your heart here, or there was a third party situation. So I feel Gemini, um, that there is an energy here, right? There was, um, that your intuition is telling you here that yes this person has disappointed you and i feel like your intuition is is trying to guide you but i feel here you could be blocking it overthinking 
Okay. But I do feel like you are finding your own happiness and your own peace within. Okay. Before I uh, keep go or before I end this, uh, what can you tell Gemini about new love? What can you tell Gemini about new love? Death, rebirth, Scorpio energy, three of swords, ace of pentacles, queen of cups. Okay. It tells me you still have a lot of love for this person. There is a new beginning here. Okay. For some of you, there could be potential for you and this person to rebuild trust, to rebuild something long term. But a lot of you, I feel, aren't going to be able to or some of you aren't going to be able to trust this person. So that's what I have for you this week, Gemini. Energy can change. Uh, remember the giveaway. Uh, subscribe, like, comment. I do appreciate you. And have a wonderful rest of the day. And sending you angel love.